What's up guys and welcome back. For today's video I have a really exciting one. I know many of you guys are waiting for this so here you go. This video is going to be about the new Sephora All Star Edition Play Box. So and this does retail for $20 and it is available for everyone, not just VIB Rouge and VIB members. It's available for everyone. I will leave a link down below if you guys want to pick it up for yourself. I did review the Iconic Edition a few months back, so I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to see that. But it's basically the same kind of bag, but this one is a little more silvery holographic and the other one was more on the goldish side. So I'm really excited. I didn't peek in the bag yet, but we do have this little pamphlet over here, which I'm assuming discusses every product that is included in here. So let's get started with the actual bag. This is how it looks. It's really nice. I love it. I think it's really trendy and cute. The products that are supposed to be included in here are products that are more on the higher end, just like the iconic play box. That's why it's worth the 20 bucks. And then it's also supposed to be products that everyone really enjoys and love and it has like basically five star reviews. So the first thing that I do see in here is this Dior Dior Show Mascara. So this is how the mascara looks. It is a deluxe size, of course. I'm not sure I even tried this. This is in the shade Pro Black, like not plain black, but Pro Black. And let's see the wand on this. I'm telling you, I'm getting so many mascaras lately. I don't know what to do with myself. But wow, the packaging is really nice. It looks really nice and like sleek. Really cute. I don't think I've tried this. This doesn't um, ring a bell. I, I hate when mascaras do that. That's one thing that I hate. I hate when mascaras just pull out like that. Why doesn't it have a turning thing? I don't know, I feel like it's very cheap. Just me. Um, wow, it smells really nice. It has like that perfumey kind of scent and I love uh, the wand. I love these like big, fat, like chunky wands. I feel like they would coat the lashes so nicely, so I'm really into this. I'm assuming it's gonna be nice. And then, let's see. All right, we have the Flower Bomb Victor and Rolf perfume. So let's open this up and see what is up. So. Okay, great. I'm happy that it's not a roller bowl because I'm not a fan of roller bowls, but it is basically that typical spray form type of bottle, and it is bigger than the actual like little deluxe -like samples that Sephora sends out. But I've smelled this in the past. I do not own it. I think it's a nice one. Let me smell. Ooh. I actually did not per um, perfume today, so. Okay, so it's a really nice scent. It's not too strong, and it's not underwhelming i feel like it's just right in between i feel like as the day wears on it's probably going to settle into my actual clothes and stuff like that and it's probably going to smell better but initially it's like an okay smell i know it's a lot of people's favorite and that's why it's included in here so i do hope to like this all right the next thing that we have in here is oh my god i'm so excited about this this is the hourglass veil mineral primer I know millions of people love this primer and swear by it. I've never actually went ahead and purchased it. It was in my Sephora cart thousands of times and I just was like, no, you're not spending $44 on this. Okay, so you twist it off. Yeah, apparently like that. And it comes with a little like spatula. I thought it was going to be a little bit, a little pump, which I thought would be nicer, but it's still okay. And I hear that people with dry skin adore this. So it doesn't have much of a smell, but it feels delicious on the actual skin. Wow, I see it blurring out already. That's pretty cool. I never had that experience. All right, the next thing that we have in here is this Tom Ford Indian Rose Lip Color. So I don't own any Tom Ford lipsticks. I don't think so. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's a little man. Yeah, this is an issue Indian Rose. Look at this little packaging. I already feel rich. You know what I mean? So cute. So it's in a square little... Uh, yeah. Wow, this shade is gorgeous. Look at this. So beautiful. I think this is a very typical shade, but something that I think a ton of people would wear. Whoa! Oh my god, this is so my style of color. It is beautiful. It has a little bit more of a satin creamy finish, so it's not matte, but damn! Alright, the next thing that we have in here is the um, Amore Pacific Moisture Rejuvenating Cream. And the thing is about Amore Pacific is that they're an amazing brand. However, their products are so expensive. They really do work nicely on the skin. They've never irritated my skin. And they're just really high quality. It's, it's so nice. You feel the richness with this cream. I love it. And it just it makes your skin look good. Like, it really just does. Um, one day, I hope to get the full size. But... For now, I'm not going to. I'm happy that I have this though because a little bit does go a long way. The final product that we have in the bag is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. So this is something that I actually already own in the full size. I do use it on a daily basis, but this is an amazing size. Size. Just because uh, you need a teeny amount and this could last at least over 20 uses because more even, maybe like 30, 40 uses just because you need a small amount. You just kind of like massage it into to the skin. You don't necessarily have to go in with an actual like pad with it just because pads or um, cotton pads, yeah, they absorb a lot of the product. So when you use this with your actual fingers and just kind of like push it in like that, it 
creates a beautiful effect on the face i feel like it also gives a little bit of like brightness it's just it's something that you have to use consistently to really see the difference i've been using mine for like two months i do think that i see a difference but i think i do have to use it a little bit more just to actually get the full benefits of it and it's really good for traveling in case i travel anywhere but that's pretty much everything that's included in this um sephora what is this all-star edition bag and then when you open this up this is so cute okay so basically it comes with these little like postcards and every single postcard First of all, the first one says the all-star edition. And then every single product that came in the bag has its own little postcard with a picture of the product. And then it discusses everything in the bag that you need to really know. So, wow, this is so cute. I love like the colors that they chose also. It just keeps it nice and interesting and fun. I'm actually pretty happy with the bag. I wish it would have been maybe more like $15 as opposed to the 20 bucks, but I still feel like they chose excellent things. And I do think that this bag is better, honestly, than the iconic edition one, just because they're products that I've been really interested in. So we got three makeup products we got the dior mascara the hourglass veil primer and then the tom ford gorgeous rose lipstick and then we got two skincare products the mori pacific one and the sk2 both amazing and then the victor and rolf uh flower bomb perfume so i'm really happy with this bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys enjoyed your bag or if you're gonna pick it up after you so what's actually included in here and i'll see you guys in my next video